So the question of why clinical trials are important is a very, very easy question to answer. So the reason why trials are important is because we're not doing good enough with our standard treatments. The hopeful piece of this is that we've never had such an explosion in science. We've never had such an explosion of understanding how lung cancer works. And we've never had such an explosion of new therapeutics that exploit that understanding to deliver better care to the patient. Treatment can be better in two ways. It can make a patient live longer, or it can have less side effects. And as a theme, our newer therapies, particularly some of the new clinical trials, exploit both of these. Targeted therapies cause less fatigue than chemo. Most of them cause no nausea and vomiting. Most of them cause no hair loss. Many of them work so well that it's like awakenings. Some of our patients were the very first to uh, achieve that kind of stunning benefit. We've seen that pattern repeat itself with other targeted therapies. Perhaps the thing I'm most excited about recently is immunotherapy. We are deeply, deeply steeped in both clinical and basic science research in immunotherapy. Immunotherapy from a clinical and common sense standpoint offers something that no other therapy has offered before. That's the thing that every patient comes in and asks me for. Patients don't come in and asking to live a few months longer. Of course, my patient and I as a team will take every week we can get, they're precious. But what doctors and patients both really want is a chance at living years. Some of these immunotherapeutics, particularly PD-1 and PD-L1 inhibitors, are having patients who have deep and durable responses. We're talking about years. And to get there, we're talking about a side effect profile that is quite favorable to chemotherapy, not harsher. So again, it's fitting those two themes, more effective, less toxic.